Heads, we marry the prince. Tails, we marry the princess. What? Okay, well, I guess, I guess we'll... Sorry, bro. I've never been so disappointed in my life. Good morning, everybody. How are you doing today? Welcome to day number 10 of the Hardcore Iron Man adventure. We are picking things up at 1236 total, 152 quest points. I have been doing a bunch of AFK mining, sort of off stream. I did, I believe I did five levels last night, which isn't too bad. We are working towards level 61, but I don't really love doing the skilling portions on stream because I find them a little boring. So, uh, you know, took a big chunk out of that last night off stream. We have a ton to do today. Um, I could see us doing more ED3 today. I could see us doing Dagonoth Rex today. We have not done any of our dailies. So we've got to do that. We've got some weeklies we haven't done like penguins. There is a lot to do. That is a level 11 archaeology. But wait, there's more. I think there, there is probably going to be more. Hold up. Wait for it. Hodel. If we don't get level 12 here, I'm going to cry. But wait. There might be even more. 14 archaeology. He's absolutely unstoppable. 45 prayer. We can finally use mystic might. The prayer we've been waiting for this whole time. 52 farming. Okay, here, look. I'll move the I'll move the wiki page. That is level 53 in the agility skill. Having not actually trained any agility yet, seems uh seems quite good. Wait, a good hatchet or pickaxe? It's taking off king's time. Look, the guide says I need a good hatchet. I don't have a good hatchet currently. So uh, don't look at my woodcutting level and how I can't even equip it. I We need a good hatchet. It, it said a good one. It has to be a good one. Dude, there is no way we die with this setup. There is no way we die with this setup. Look at this. Come on. No, we're going to be fine. We're totally going to be fine. Yeah, because I got... I got the Rezo, I got the Guthic Staff, I got the Prey. Yeah, we're, we're fine. We're fine, we're fine. We're totally fine. Let's go do some DKs. Hey, before we get into the video, I just wanted to give a quick thank you to NordVPN for making this video possible. They've been a long-term supporter of the channel, and it's really cool that they've wanted to continually work with me, and they are, of course, the sponsor of this video. NordVPN is an extremely useful app that I've been using for the better part of a year. As a virtual private network, it encrypts your data, which means your internet service provider or anyone else that wants to snoop on what you're up to won't be able to do so. It also boasts the fastest speeds of any VPN on planet Earth. But the thing that I do the most with it, if I'm being completely honest, is just for accessing geolocked content. My girlfriend is from the States, so if I want to watch Netflix with her, NordVPN is the answer. With the click of a button, I can put myself in the States, and all of a sudden, we can access the same content. I've also done a lot of traveling lately, both for family reasons and for the talk show that I made for RuneScape. And while I've been away, I found the NordVPN mobile app extremely helpful to have on in the background to make sure my data is secure. I know you guys have heard this one many times by this point, so we're gonna keep it short and sweet. If you're like me and anything I just talked about seems useful to you, you can go to the link in the description down below or go to nordvpn.com slash rsguy to get 63% off a two-year plan with an additional month free. I also wanted to add that they have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you sign up, you try it out, and you end up not being a fan, you can get your money back, no questions asked. Okay, with that out of the way, let's get back into the video. Thank you very much. We also need 47 prayer for a quest later today. So this isn't like entirely ill-advised. So I was thinking we bank all these Dagonoth bones. We ectophile them, or sorry, ectofunctus them. And then, uh, yeah, that should get us all the way to 47 without having to do anything like annoying for prayer. Like I don't have to do the Nexus or anything slow like that. So yeah, killing a couple birds with one stone. This isn't entirely just Ryan wants to be an idiot and PVM way too early. That is level 65 magic coming in, which is actually access to the lunar spellbook as well. That's uh, that's a fairly significant level, I would say. <gasps> Maka! Nope. <laughs> yeah, it's better to area loot. It's a lot better to area loot. I I just I I was yeah we uh we getting out of there, man. <laughs> that's actually very good loot. And with our loot banked, we're gonna grab some more food. We're gonna run it back. Level 56 constitution. We absolutely take those. That is level 66 magic which means we can finally get into the Wizards Guild, which is actually very exciting. That's another rune shop we can get into. Wait, I can use meta now. A big level. Oh, that is Dagonoth Prime. Uh, no. That seems like as good a time as any to end our inaugural Dagonoth Kings situation. We did 37 kills. Actually, no, we didn't. We did 32 kills, um, which is not bad. Got some good loot, some good alcables. No hatchet, unfortunately, also no rings. But semi-importantly, we did unlock ourselves the second boss portal as we've now passed 100 total kill count, which is really nice. Cash just said, hey, Ryan, want to hear something that will make you think I'm stupid? Okay. I've only just found out that when someone calls you the goat, it means greatest of all time. I thought someone was literally calling you a goat. Oh, Cash. This is such a such an archaic prayer training method, but... Wait, they've made this so much faster? 
Wait, this is sick. Okay, yeah, no, we're totally good doing this. We're gonna get 70 doing this, I think. But I mean, for today, we're just gonna, you know, use the Dagonoth bones that we have, but this is gonna be really, really good XP. That's sick. Dude, this auto bucket thing is, they have QL'd the crap out of this place. This is so sick. And just like that, we are at level 47 prayer, which means we have all the levels in for deal, which we are going to do right now. Let's get it. So at my level, it's 100-ish K an hour. And then by level 61, it's 200 K an hour. By 71, it's 300 K an hour. By 81, it's 400 K an hour. And at level 99, it's a million XP an hour. That is the rum deal quest complete. Thank you for the farming XP. Thank you for the prayer XP. Thank you for the fishing XP. Let's go. It is 48 prayer and 53 farming as well. We take those on to the next quest, which is going to be Throne of Miscellanea. Wait, is that the one where we get married? Wait, one of us died. Wait, did one of us die? Wait, that's the first one. We lost one. Mackie, what happened? How did you die to Shades of Morton? I need you all to bestow an F in the chat for Mackie the first who is now going to have to be Mackie the second. You hate to see it. <laughs> From the ashes of Mackie the first, I am confident that Mackie the second will rise up and make it past the Shades of Morton quest. Heads, we marry the prince. Tails, we marry the princess. What? Okay, well, I guess, I guess we'll... Sorry, bro. I've never been so disappointed in my life. Wait, she just called me dear. Pog? All right, we did it. Wait, we're proposing on the first date? She said, I thought you'd never ask. All righty. Well, I hope you don't die in a boating accident in the future. That would make me a little sad. Hypothetically, obviously. Yeah, a tragic boating accident. Wait, I should have given her the ring of life. Like, uh, hey, take this. Don't ask questions. Sneaking suspicion. You may need it. That is the Throne of Miscellanea quest complete. Also gives us access to managing Miscellanea. I'm actually not sure what we're supposed to put it in, but we're also going to be doing Royal Trouble later today, so I'm not going to worry about this for right this second. And it's going to be time to do our penguins. Okay, this is already the best way to do penguins by far. Look at everybody. Oh, no, is this door one at a time? It's actually one at a time? This is an MMO. I just don't think they're used to people playing the game. That's really funny. That is level 56 mining. Do not expect to get a mining level in the middle of a quest, but we take those. Wait, it's Zora. Wait, if this is Zora, why are my prayers not 100% effective? It's like some kind of a harder version of Zora. That is Royal Treble quest complete. That is also gonna be an agility level and a slayer level and a constitution level. We are now level 78 combat and uh, I'm great with that. That was uh, that was a decent quest. I think I preferred it to the first one actually. It was uh, a little quicker, a little less back and forth. It's time for Crisis. Good luck team. Um, Ooh, someone got a scripture. Holy moly. That is level 49 Hunter coming in. You love to see it. Wait, did somebody else just get a scripture? They did. Two scriptures and four kills. We lost? Okay, just delete the VOD. Just delete the VOD. This didn't happen. This didn't happen. Delete the VOD. That is level 57 in the Slayer skill. Having not trained any Slayer yet. That is the Rune Mysteries quest complete. On to the next one. All right, it is time to do... Wait, this quest is in the Wildy. We're going to do it on stream, but I'm going to be careful. I hate it here. Talk to you, accept the quest, and get out of here. All right, we're fine. Okay, that is Enter the Abyss mini quest complete. Means we got ourselves our baby rune pouch, and we can now finally access the abyss, which we may have to do for, you know, lots of water rune crafting. 47 wood cutting coming in. Not too bad. 40 fire making coming in. Let's freaking go, dude. You love to see it. it is one of the requirements for Legacy of Sirius. The other is 46 crafting, sorry, 47 crafting which we are going to get right now with the absolutely bonkers amount of uncut gems we have banked. This is going to take almost no time at all. One eternity later. 47 in the crafting skill, which means we now have all of the requirements needed uh, for Legacy of Sirgaze, which we are going to do right now. Wait, can I charge a Deto and finish them off? I totally can. Ready? Two, one, release! <laughs> we take those. Wait, did they all get eaten? Oh, they did. Ha! That was really loud. Okay. Okay, Jagex. Alrighty. That is Legacy of Sergei's quest complete. Bit of a lengthy one, but uh, yeah, some good XP out of that. We also got some tomes. I believe I'm supposed to put them into Herblor. Yes, I am. So we're going to do that. Nope, that's the wrong. That's not. <laughs> one moment. 
can tell I'm losing my mind ever so slightly, but we're all good. Bit of that, bit of that, and a bit of that. And for the first time, I think, throughout this series, we've completed a quest that gave a bunch of XP and we did not gain a single level. Now, the next quest we want to do is Death of the Dorgishin, but it has a soft wreck of 80 combat, which I do not have. So we are going to be going to uh, ED3 with a couple hardcores. We're all going to be roughly the same level. We're all going to be in Mystic with Gothic Staves. And I'm going to get myself some magic levels. So let's get uh, geared and get ready. Holy moly. All righty, team. It's time for some ED3. Please be careful, everybody. I do not want to lose another hardcore. We've already lost one today. Run! Nope. <laughs> he just teleported. Okay, we all suck. We all absolutely suck. Okay, good to know. We will we will not be going further than that point. Just imagine how lame this would be if I was going with max accounts. This would be so boring. And instead, I am genuinely, legitimately fearful for my life. All right, team. Easy. Easy. Wait, no, we should let the rangers stay and then just kill the meleeers behind them. That is level 69 magic. And we have been here for uh, just over 10 minutes. We've done three full magic levels. This is absolutely insane. Level 60 constitution coming in. Not too bad. That is level 70 magic. Let's go. Yeah, we want 75. We're gonna, we're gonna get 75 tonight because then I can put on the vanquish and that's gonna be really, really helpful. That is level 71 magic as well as level 61 HP, 72 magic, 83 combat, 62 constitution, and we run it back. That is level 75 magic from level 66 that took less than 50 minutes, and it means I can now equip my tier 75 vanquish with these two absolute champion wizards who are both level 73. Okay, so the other two people I'm with did not get enough XP for level 75 magic, so we're going to finish off the hour with them training defense, and the goal is to get level 60 so that when we do lunar diplomacy, I will be able to equip lunar armor, and I'm guessing I'm going to be able to get that in like probably two runs, maybe three at most, just because the XP rates here are so completely nuts. That's the plan. Yeah, that was, that was really, really good. It is a little spooky, like be careful if you're going at level 60, but well worth it if you're willing to do it. You train up so fast. And in that hour, 2.8 mil? That is kind of obscene. That is more money than I have made through the entire 150 quest points of QP die. Okay, I'm actually like, I am slightly convinced with a tinfoil hat that we are not eligible to receive a cape because the ground is littered with ham robes and we are somehow without a single cape. Run it back. Okay, you guys would agree. This is a little crazy, right? Like it's a little abnormal. Carpal tunnel is temporary. This set of ham robes will be forever. Just look at the invent full of ham items. The ground littered with ham items. The streamer, ham itemless. I am I am cl so close to losing my mind. There's a certain irony to having to grind like 30 plus minutes of pickpocketing ham members in order to do a goblin quest. Yeah, if you're a VOD watcher and there are two hours left in this VOD, just, just close, just close the stream. Just close it. I've had like 20 sets of ham ropes. I just can't get the cape. I feel like we're too close to give up now. Okay, I have decided. Let's just start the stupid freaking quest. That is the death to the Dorgishin quest complete. We absolutely take those. I am going to put this on attack, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't think it matters too much. That is the giant dwarf quest complete. Two quest points a tiny amount of XP, a smithing level, a crafting level. That was an absolute grind of a quest. But now we actually have all the requirements needed to complete another slice of ham, which gets us pretty far actually into the goblin quest line. I believe we're going to be doing another slice of ham, land of goblins and the chosen commander back to back to back, uh, assuming we got the Rex. Uh, and then that gets us pretty much all the way to the end of that quest line. Okay, that's going to do it for this one. But I did want to thank you all so much for tuning into this video. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe and do all that stuff if you want to do that. And if you don't, that's cool too. And outside of that, I will see you tomorrow for the next one.